Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's me, Irvin, with another volume manga review. This is going to be on volume two of The Remarried Empress. Uh, you guys can catch this uh, on Yen Press. If you haven't checked out Yen Press, give them some love. They uh, release quite a bit of content and they are pretty pretty great at uh, releasing quite a bit of stuff for us so uh go check them out there is a link in the description below where you guys can buy cheap manga and uh light novels from yen press and yenon and easy press and all, all that check them out uh also before i start my review if you haven't done so by now comment like and share and also subscribe to my channel uh um, we're almost at 5,000. hopefully we'll get there eventually but we'll see Okay, volume two of the Remarried Empress. Now, I will say this is uh, the side, I guess, hustle that they're doing in Yen Press, uh, Easy Press, uh, or I think it's Easy Press, right there. Um, and essentially, they've gotten webtoons and they made them into um, manga style, or they just made them into books. Uh, so you actually read them like American style, left to right. Uh, so it's not really manga manga, but uh, it is it is quite a bit of similarity to it. I mean, inspired by manga. So uh, just throwing that out before uh, someone mentions it in the comments. Uh, before uh, that as well, if you haven't checked out Volume 1, I do have Volume 1 reviewed and explained a little bit. Uh, so go check it out in my in my channel. Uh, channel and you guys will be able to catch up on it so volume two starts off again with the queen essentially it's it's a back and forth you know uh our our, our queen navier and 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 the emperor are not having the best relationship obviously and we know they're gonna get divorced we just don't know i don't know if that's building up to maybe a climax point of the series or if that's just the ending and they're just building up to what we started with in the first volume which is their divorce uh but navier obviously is not having it and in the beginning we pick up right off where volume one cuts off which is them having a feast and the uh emperor's um side girl uh, Ms. Rashta is not invited. Now Ms. Rashta was confronted at the end of volume one by a guy who ends up being the ex-owner of her and she was a slave, it is confirmed. Um but then things are twisted back to she wasn't a slave, the guy's lying because the emperor tries to cover up basically for her and because he's you know over over heels for this girl um throughout the volume there's a lot more interaction of navier the empress with henry which is the guy from the opposite kingdom uh who is now they're pretty much friends right they know that uh they are their pen pals or secret pen pals uh now henry uh has a a secret who that is he is actually the bird delivering the letters uh that's not completely given to navier but navier is slowly finding out that she doesn't know too much of her new friend that she thought uh towards the end of the volume in fact she finds out that he was registered to the magic school and he himself can use magic um now she confronts him about this uh very friendly like and he willingly explains in a very general way uh, basically i can fly and she's like oh can you take me for a ride he's like eh, the way i fly i wouldn't be able to carry someone like you and she's like oh you're calling me heavy and the whole conversation basically goes off to a whole tangent and they completely forgot about the details of how he flies um so we know that that comes from his kingdom we know that he went to the magic school um navier is helping a orphan go to magic school now this is actually very interesting because i kind of have an idea of where this direction would go uh because at the same time rashta is having her own story um completely away from Navier and Henry and that is that Rashta is being blackmailed by her ex-owner uh her, her ex-slave owner to basically cough up stuff so that he 
won't tell people that one, she was a slave, and two, he claims that they both had a kid. Well, no, not claims. She did, but he claims that the kid is still alive. So, um, at least it is confirmed that she had a baby. We don't know if the baby is alive. Now, I think the baby is the orphan that Navier is helping out to get to school, to go to magic school and all that. Could I be wrong? Probably, but knowing series that's probably the connection they're going to do at the end of the day uh which will be a pretty you know tough tough tie but we'll see um back to rashta rashta is losing a little bit of uh attention from the emperor and we see this in volume two we know that she's a side piece and we know that obviously in this kingdom is normal but at the same time she is hoping to make sure that the emperor is in love with her so that he won't leave her but it quickly shows that it's gonna pass very soon the reason i say that is because the emperor takes the takes Navier, the empress, to her birthday trip, and he kind of tries to initiate some loving, you know, moment with them. It doesn't really go well, but he's kind of still trying. And at the same time, he finds someone to take care of Rashta's money spending because he notices that stuff is missing and he's like well so people won't cheat you out of money i'm gonna help you out with someone that will take care of your accounts and it's one of those things like i kind of feel like he know behind of his head he knows that something is not going on right so anyways uh that's volume two in a nutshell uh it's do doing really really well I, I really have enjoyed this series and if you haven't picked up volume one or, or volume two or both pick them up uh you guys can find them on yem press in their website you can also find uh more of this stuff uh in the description below and that link you guys can buy a bunch of stuff for cheap online so make sure you do that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys next time like always don't be strangers see you guys